Joanne, and this is the second seminar I've attended for Dr. Richard Castellano, and I have to say that I thought I knew a lot the first time, but I learned more this time. He just takes the time to explain to you. He puts you at ease. He's got such a great personality, and he just really takes step by step the explanation of what he's doing for you or what he will do for you, and I like the idea that it's specialized that it's not cookie cutter where he's doing the same thing on everybody. So I'm very impressed and I will be having some procedures done. Hi, my name is Linda. I attended Dr. Castellano's presentation today. One of the most informative I've ever been to. And it's so nice to know that you have choices. It's what you want, not what the doctor dictates. And most of us are more comfortable with that. And uh, it really gets down to how you see yourself, not as you're seen by somebody else. My name is Carol East. I live here in the Villages. I went in to see Dr. Castellano. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful thing that he's doing. As we age, of course, everything drops. <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm hoping to look how I feel. I think the lift will make a big difference in my mindset. So I'm thrilled and very happy to be here. Today I came and listened to a seminar by Dr. Castellano. He was very informative about many facelifts, different kinds of laser treatment, and he showed us many before and after. Not only did we see pictures, but we saw the actual women who were before and after. And I come to a lot of these, and this is the first time I came to one. And I really felt he knew what he was talking about. And I would be interested in doing one of his mini facelifts. <laughs> Try that for just a moment. Just grab your jawline like this and pull that back. And, and bear with me and close your eye. Does that feel, how does that feel when you pull back? Does that feel good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I mean, would you like to just pull it back and have it just stay there? Not only was he a very good speaker, he was entertaining and he made you feel comfortable. I'm passing on information to everybody. They all ask me, where did you go? You know, what's the name of the doctor? So, and they all telling me I look great. So it makes me feel good, you know. I feel better for myself, you know. I feel more confident and, uh, you know. I didn't do it for anybody else. I did it for myself and, you know, that's, uh, that's what I wanted done. I actually, when I first, I, I came home, I couldn't find the, incision, the incisions at all. And um, I was shocked, I was surprised because uh, all the other doctors I've seen before, usually they will tell you, uh, you know, if you're going to have the procedure done, it might be a good idea that you let your hair grow a little bit because you might see the incision, you know. But I could hardly find the incisions. And even now, people look around and say, you know, where are the incisions, you know? And because they can barely see them themselves. So I was very, very pleased with that, very pleased. I would recommend it to anybody, you know, which I have been doing. <laughs> the procedure done the end of July, and now I have dimples. <laughs> I never had dimples before, and I feel 20 years younger. My next birthday, I'll be 70. <laughs> so I am uh, very happy with the work he's done, and I enjoy being around him when he's around. Oh, very good experience. Everybody down at the office is very nice. And I did go down to Tampa to have the procedure done. My husband says I'm always late from exercise class now because I don't know why, because I put makeup on before I left. <laughs> and he's always harassing me. For me, the right decision was going to Dr. Castellano. I thought he did a, a wonderful job for me and listened to what I wanted and, and did what I wanted and did not try to add extra things or suggest things that I wasn't interested in. And, uh, and the staff also was excellent. <laughs> Nothing but praise for the staff. Did you attend a seminar? Oh yeah, several. Several, okay. I kept going back and back. Okay. And uh, finally just decided this is what I want to do. And I was really lucky. I think I was there on a Friday 
and I said, if I can have this done in the next couple days because I want to go away in a month. They said, fine. And they did it on Memorial Day, if you can Fabulous. believe it. And in fact, the office had made a picnic lunch for, for the people that had to work on Memorial Day and shared it with the patients. It was very nice. I'll tell you, it was like um, being in, in a family. It was, it was very, very pleasant. The whole experience was very pleasant. My pictures looked Your wonderful. Pictures amazing, yes. Yeah, I was really pleased. My neighbors are very supportive. They, uh, the few that know, okay. and they just think it's great. One's seriously considering doing some work and one's going to have some fillers. And but I think once one person makes the move, it makes it a lot easier for, for other people to, uh, to do it. And what's great is, you know, it's, it's, there's no stigma attached. I think everybody is just of the opinion that whatever is good for you is good. That's all. And to me, this was good. It was good.